video on how to fully convert your 10 cent uh, ROG tree into global firmware. Uh, I had to stop last night because it was getting quite late and I had to continue today. So this, we left off having the global firmware as you can see on uh, system about we're at uh, WW version already. So it also has all the Play Stores, Google Chrome and everything. So next thing you will do, you will have to unlock the bootloader. So again, all the files will be in the description below. And you have to bear in mind that after unlocking the bootloader, you won't be able to receive uh, over the air updates. Only manual updates will be done. So you just copy this file on your ROG. So you open the drive, look for your ROG phone, and let's just save it on the downloads folder. So these are some other files that is already on my download folder, which won't be needed because I already added in the folder here. So we just copy the unlocked here there. So it's already on your phone. Next step is to install it. So you take it out, go to File Manager, Downloads, and install the Asus Device Unlock Tool. So once it opens, just click on the, you have to go all the way to the bottom, click the check mark, okay. So before you unlock your device, be sure you're connected to the internet. Okay, so just go to the bottom, click agree. Unlock your device will be highlighted. So click unlock. So it, there was a message that's going to appear. So do you want to unlock your device? So if you're really sure you want to do this, just click OK. So we'll have to wait. So after doing this, your phone will restart and your device will be unlocked. So again, just follow my step by step to avoid any errors. And after doing this, you won't be able to receive over the air updates but you can still do manual updates through the ASUS website you'll be ha you'll be having the screen meaning that your device has been unlocked so just wait for it so it will open again Now we'll be, after this, there will be some steps you'll have to do for you to be able to change to the global firmware. So there, now it's starting. So just wait for it so that you can see the actual step-by-step step on how to do it. I don't want to skip any parts of the video. So you'll be greeted by a welcome screen again. So let's just confirm. Next, let's skip everything first. You don't need to set up everything because it will still be erased after this. So no need for setting up Okay, so just skip, skip anyway, skip, next, skip, and then confirm, done. Okay, close. So now that our phone has been uh, reset, as you can see, this is now an unlocked bootloader of the ROG3. So our next step is to... 
as you can see here on the folder uh, you will have to copy let's open this here let's so you can see it more so there's a root ww so this is the uh, root file for the firmware your minimal ADB which you have installed earlier in order to flash you can just you know right click on this then open file location so it's actually located in program files so you will need to copy this file inside here just to continue so there, the root file is in there. So you just copy the file name. Then open your uh, minimal ADB. Okay, now once it's already open, you'll need to turn off your phone. Actually, it is the same process as the ROG2. We'll just turn off the phone. Volume up power switch to get into fast boot mode. So once you're in fast boot mode, connect again the USB at the side port. You can type fast boot space devices to make sure your phone's connected. If you see like a number here, uh, numbers and letters there, that means your device is connected. Now, after your device is connected, you will have to type. Okay, so you have to type fastboot space flash boot Space, then the file name of this one so as I said you can just copy it to make to avoid errors and then just paste it over here and then add dot ing so it should be root ww 2007 32r3.ing okay so once you're sure click enter it says finished so as soon as that's finished you will have to restart your your device go to your device just click on the power switch to restart so we'll have to wait for it again So as you can see, the device has restarted now. So we're now actually rooted. So if you check on my instructions, we are now on number. So we're at the end of number three. So we already finished this. So it says here, after completing the step on your computer without seeing the app manager APK, install it yourself. So as you can see, we don't see the magic, magisk. So we'll have to install it ourselves. Just connect your phone. And then you'll see it here the MT manager click yes you'll see the MT manager so just control C we'll copy that into our ROG folder let's copy it again in the downloads folder
open file manager let's skip everything allow so it's over here let's click on that settings allow to install we go back and install open allow allow read and agree so we click on that okay so this is how this is the like the the root explorer of our phone so aside from that we we'll also need to install uh, magics let's close some windows first so here we just go copy There, Magix Manager. And we can install it from this, this window too. So install. Back. Install. Open. Once you get this screen, just click OK. Oops. We got a setup fail because we're not connected to the internet. So what you do, you just exit this again. So be sure you're connected to the internet first. I'll disconnect it. Click OK. Just wait for it. Okay, so you can either use the empty manager and click grant. This will give you your super user permission. Or if you're not used to this, you can install I also included Root Explorer, which was the old one. So I copy it. I just just copy it to your downloads folder, open file manager, and same process. Install Root Explorer. So if you're not used to that, you can use Root Explorer. Actually, Root Explorer is a lot easier than using the other one. So. Once you click open, it will say grant again, just grant it, allow, okay, go to root folder, okay, so from here, this is how we're going to change, you're already, let's say, inside the main directory, so from here, we are going to change to a www fingerprint, so from here, we go all the way to the bottom, Click on Vendor. Then from Vendor, we go to the fac Factory. Then we go to Country. Here, Country. Click on that. Then just click on Text Editor. As you can see, the fingerprint is still on CN. So we just, we just change it to WW. I use capital letters, then click on save, then back. Once you go back, just be sure to open country again, then text editor to make sure it has, it has saved properly. So once it's at www, see, once it's at www, just click back, back, exit, there. So. Technically, you are now on a WW firmware. So if you want to keep your device rooted, because some of you want to have a root, uh, rooted phone, you can keep it at this state. You can still do updates, do manual updates. You can also download the rooted files. But if you want to lock the bootloader, you'll have to uh, exit this again. So we'll have to power off. 
the device. Then we'll do the same process of what we did earlier. So as you can see, this is what we copied earlier, the root. Now we're going to copy the boot. So the boot stock, this is the original uh, version. So be sure you're on fast boot mode. So long press power and volume up. So let's start it first. Okay, there. Oops. Okay, let's just wait for it. I have to restart it. I forgot to go to fast boot mode. So anyway, let's wait for it to boot up. So while that's booting up, go back to your minimal ADB folder. Right click on that. Open file location. So copy your boot image inside the minimal ADB folder again. So just click continue. Okay, well, once it's copied there, uh, open your minimal ADB. Go to fast boot mode again. So once you're in fast boot mode, just connect it there. Okay. Fast boot devices to check if you're connected. Okay, so once you're connected, just type fast boot space flash space boot space the file name. So to avoid errors, again. It would be best if you could just copy the file name and paste it over here, .img. Always add the .img, then click enter. This is how to return to the normal state. Okay, so in the old version, if you type this fastboot oem asus csc lock, it's supposed to lock your bootloader. But as you can see here, it's it always says failed. It always says failed because on the ROG3, there's a new way to lock your device. You have to type fastboot space OEM space ASUS then slash lock. Click enter. So lock device successfully. So as you can see, the device has locked successfully. So after that, we're gonna restart our phone. So just go to start, click enter. Wait for it. There will be an error in this phone. So once you get the error, all you have to do is wipe your data. There. So as you can see, no errors were detected. But if ever you get an error, just go to your uh, fast boot and wipe data if you get an error. But for my case, I didn't get the error, which means it's perfect already. Now to check if you have been fully converted, go to your Play Store, sign in. Uh, wait a moment, I'll just sign in my... So to check if you have fully converted, go to your Play Store, log in, and download DRM info. When you open that, check your build fingerprint. If it says WW, that means you're fully converted. Okay? Also, you'll still be getting this pop-up. The install firmware does not match device origin, so you won't be able to clear that notification. Just download Notification Blocker and Cleaner. So open that. 
So if you see that, just click clean now, then grant access. So it says here end cleaner, allow. Then from there, ongoing notifications. As you can see, this is the warning. So you can just click on hide. Notification has been hidden. So as you can see, this one, you can just turn off the notification for that. See? So you can now finish your setup or remind me later. No more notifications. So that's it. Hope you liked the video. Hope I was able to help you again on how to convert to fully global, fully global firmware on your ROG3. And thank you for subscribing. Hope you can share this video. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. And until next time, uh, bye.